One of the biggest hurdles for increasing breakfast is time. Breakfast is not a part of the school day, so anytime we ask the students why they don't eat breakfast or um, what we could do better, it's always time. That's always the answer. They don't have time. One thing that has really worked to increase breakfast participation has been the addition of our breakfast carts. And so by adding the carts throughout the campus, we can strategically put them in places where it makes it easier for them to grab and take to class with them. They don't have to go all the way to the cafeteria. Sometimes it's the buses drop off or the parents drop off in a separate spot that's further from the cafeteria so really allowing those different access points helps provide students an area to grab breakfast. So our breakfast participation countywide is actually quite low we're only 22 percent on average but at the school where we're really successful and we've added the most amount of carts we're up to 40 percent so it's quite a bit significant increase. Some of the ways that we have tried making smoothies are with small blenders bigger blenders that we had to transfer from the blender to a pitcher to pour up and now we're using a bucket with an immersion blender which has made it so much easier so much faster with the small blenders i could only make four in each blender i was using two blenders i was making at least 100 to 120 when I made them, so you can imagine how long that took. Now I can make 40 in the bucket in about five minutes. When considering this program, you have to think of the whole picture because if you work together, you find that person or that administrator that you can really show what's happening throughout, not just Florida, but the United States, how it's benefiting the students. More and more people are seeing that this cuts down on your um, tardies, trips to your nurses, and uh, they're actually eating the breakfast. It's not a mess, and work with your cafeteria staff to know, to get the right products, and you get the feedback. If there's a product that, hey, they really don't like that, then you go look for other things. I would say this is a win-win for everybody. About this time last year, Lori came to me with an offer from the Dairy Council, you know, for equipment, like equipment grant. Timing was perfect. She caught us right when we were renovating three schools, so we were able to use their products in those, part of those renovations. Some of the challenges in trying to renovate schools is trying to find something more retail, the more retail look, but have the durability we need in schools with all the traffic that we have. It also has to kind of be kid friendly. You know, if you're in the elementary level, it needs to have the right graphics and the right appeal to bring them to the, you know, to the unit so they can pick up the products. It was really nice because the list of products gave us a lot of flexibility and gave us some retail look that we were looking for without having to go elsewhere. So one of the things that I feel so strongly about dairy is that I am the granddaughter of a dairy farmer. I can milk cows. I grew up on a farm. And so milk has been one of the mainstays, maybe one of the reasons that I became a registered dietitian. And being in charge of a school food service program this big I impact a lot of people, and I want to do the very best I can. So I not only want to make my granddad and my mom proud, I want to make the entire nutrition community proud. So one of the things that we're always looking for is another reason to draw the students in to the school meals program. But we really have to stay up with our customer because they're pretty savvy. And so outside of the school grounds, we watch and see where they're going. And, you know, the, the natural is just Starbucks. It's a dairy company. So we thought, well, you know what? We have a lot of dairy. We can serve coffee on, in the high schools. So why not put the two together? But I didn't really want to just put in a coffee stand. I wanted to make it more conducive to the students getting milk every day that were getting their reimbursable meal. So we put in milk machines so the kids think it's, it's like college and they can fill their cup of milk. And then they can take it outside and for just a very small fee, they can add the coffee and the flavoring and still meet our really strict nutrition guidelines. So the coffee, it makes me feel more energized and like it's something I look forward to every day coming to lunch because you know, sometimes I don't really want to drink milk so I have an extra option which is the coffee. You really have to look at your operation for what is the 
acreage that you, you are on, um, you need to go to those students, offering them a golf cart, offering them carts um, in their location, certainly at breakfast time where they don't have the time to come up to the other side of the property, gives them that opportunity to get a breakfast that they may not necessarily would have had. My favorite option would definitely have to be the carts. Since it's easy and very efficient, I just get all the lunch I need and I can go to a classroom, finish work, or the library and eat at the same time. 